4K HDR 10 bit and not just any HDR right HDR 600 so proper HDR all for $800 not only that this monitor has an integrated USB-C port and a bunch of other features that make it a professional's dream. So this right here is the Philips Brilliance 328P6. And honestly, pretty brilliant. Philips did pay me to check this out and this is a paid video for where I'm showcasing this particular monitor. But uh, this monitor is quite an impressive thing for $800. So let's check it out. Now this monitor is really a professional and business monitor first and foremost. It's designed primarily for single cable laptop setups where it's really convenient to plug and play. It's really great for work, really great for business and the whole idea with this monitor is that with its integrated USB-C port hub you can have your keyboard you can have your mouse plugged in here and not worry about it also sponsored to check out the AOC gaming keyboard and AOC gaming mouse so this right here is the GM 500 it's a RGB compact simple stripped down and most importantly ambidextrous gaming mouse you've got buttons on the left for right handers we've got buttons on the right for left handers so if you're someone who's a left hander you can rejoice because this gaming mouse might be the right one for you it's very aggressively priced at about 30 to 40 Singapore dollars it's got RGB 16 0.9 million. It's got Omron switches, plenty of mic speed, and a Pixar PMW3325 sensor down low. It has no acceleration that I can notice whatsoever, which means it's going to be great for competitive FPS gaming. Like the key, the cable is braided as well. So that's greatly appreciated on, on, a, on a budget gaming mouse like this. So there's that. Another thing that I was paid to check out was, of course, the AOC gaming keyboard. So this right here is the AOC GK500. It's a simple gaming keyboard that's not really designed for, you know, enthusiasts. This is just designed for people who want a gaming keyboard that looks good, that works well, and wants RGB. So it comes with a magnetic wrist rest that snaps on and snaps off. I love magnets, so you know I love that. It's got a metal back plate, so it's actually very rigid, you know, solidly built. Otemu blue switches all around. You can get it in Otemu reds or Otemu browns as well if you want a different experience to the clicky switches. Programmable 16.9 million RGB. You can adjust the lighting in the AOC gaming software and you can easily adjust the colors and RGB and all that stuff. It's a full-size keyboard and I think it comes in about $80 to $90 and that's a pretty good price for a keyboard of this size that also has braided cable that comes with a magnetic wrist rest that comes with RGB. Now that actually leads us perfectly into the next segment of this video which is talking about the USB-C port hub in here. So the whole point of me bringing up this keyboard and mouse is because I want to talk about the ability to plug them in directly into this monitor. A one single cable setup. You just take your laptop, plug it in. This right here is my own personal laptop, the Asus G40. And yes, it has a charging port but you can charge it via USB-C if you want to. You just take your own personal laptop, your work laptop that has everything, all your files on it and since you're, you're working at Starbucks today but you you decide you want to come home and work, you sit down at your desktop and your office, plug that in, one USB-C cable, just one cable, one singular USB-C cable, and boom. When it's time to connect your laptop, it just takes one cable that will charge your laptop, that will connect the USB-C hub to your laptop, that will connect, of course, the display itself to your laptop. So this is a monitor meant for professionals, businesses, people who are trying to get real serious work done. And a lot of these people, they're working on laptop. And this right here is my own personal laptop that I work on, video edit, everything. But the whole idea idea with this monitor is that it's your one-stop shop to building a single plug-and-play one cable solution. Not only is it really easy to set up, really easy to detach your laptop and just plug and play and go and get work done, it's also great for keeping your setup neat. Now obviously it's not very neat right now because we this is not an actual setup, this is just a table so we don't have the ability to like cable manage and tie cables down because this is a temporary setup but if you were to set this up in your own personal home, you'd be able to cable manage it so neatly and not worry about cable management ever because the only cable you have to worry about is a singular cable going to your laptop. Assuming that you wanted to set this up at home, you might be thinking, do I need to get a monitor arm? Do I need to get a monitor arm so that it's more ergonomic because I'll be spending long hours at it? Well, the answer is no, because look at this monitor standard it comes with. It swivels left and right, lovely, right? It goes up and down, ooh, lovely. It tilts up and down, a good amount of tilt angle, mind you, lovely. And it also rotates a little bit. Oh. It could go to the full 90, but because stuff is plugged in right now, I'm not going to do it and ruin the setup. It's a very versatile monitor stand and you basically don't have to spend any extra money on another monitor arm. So less costs included, uh, even though this monitor is very aggressively priced at $800. Now, back to that $800 Singapore dollar price. At that price range, if you look at the specs that this has, it's impressive. So let's test it out, right? So first and foremost, I need to ch set my resolution to 4K because it's currently at 1080p to match my laptop display. So keep changes. So now it looks really nice and crisp and sharp. And uh, there are multiple things when you have such a beautiful monitor with so much color accuracy and color stuff, right? One of the things you can do is gaming. One of the things you can do is video editing and professional work. 
which we're gonna start off with. We'll do a little bit of gaming later, but because it's not a gaming monitor, that's not our main focus. So if you're wondering how color accurate this monitor is and like whether you need to color calibrate it, well, color calibrating it yourself is always a good habit, especially if you are a colorist or someone working with professional color. But it does come pre-calibrated from the factory and it comes with a little color calibration chart that you can check and ensure that all the color values are nice. So now, right now, the screen is actually on. I'm just showing a black screen with the light off. You can see the backlight bleed and as you can tell, it's extremely well controlled. Like, yes, there is a little bit of a bright ring around the side, but it's very, very minimal. It's almost indistinguishable from the center, which is the darkest part of the screen as to be expected. So backlight beat is extremely well controlled. So that's very good. Uh, of course, it's 4K, so it's gonna be really, really sharp. So if you have many different text documents, you can fill up the screen and you'll still be able to see all your text very clearly, which is, which is gonna be excellent, obviously, for getting work done. Now, uh, another thing that I see this monitor being really good for is definitely video editing and color grading. I mean, it is 4K, it is 10 bit, it is high resolution, and it's also very color Accurate. So for those kind of video content creation works, it's gonna be really good. So we're gonna open up a Premiere Pro project real quick. Uh, so this is the Basilisk X Hyperspeed video that I recently did. And we're gonna open up the Premiere Pro project for it. And uh, we're gonna show you like a like an editing workload with it. Also, it's a bit overexposed, so we're gonna adjust the screen brightness. While this loads up and we adjust the screen brightness, let's just talk about using the menus on this monitor. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. Like it, Philips decided to include some touch controls. So you just touch it lightly and it's gonna activate the menu. So I can do that. I can adjust all those different things if I wanted to. So, uh, crap. I changed, I changed the source by accident. Anyway, since I accidentally hit the setting, let's just talk about this feature that this monitor also has. So 4K is a lot of resolution. You, know, you can basically fit four 1080p monitors right here. So what this right here is an example of um, multi-input, where you can show multiple input on the screen. And this is great if you need to manage multiple machines. So if you say wanted to have four 1080p sources, you can. If you want to just have two screens, you can also do that. And that's what's happening right now. So this is, I think it's called PVP in the settings, and you can turn it on and basically have two different sources go in or four different sources go in and have that displayed there. So you can mul manage multiple computers. So we're going to try to turn that off right now. Inside the settings, you can quickly switch between these different modes, easy read, office photo, and all these different modes. You can also turn on low blue mode if you're working at night, you know, to help your eyes not be so tired before you sleep. So when you hit the OK button, what ends up happening is you get the more detailed menu with more informative stuff. So you've got low blue mode, which you can turn on and off. It's not between inputs, obviously. You can then go into your picture settings. You can go into your picture settings. You've got HDR, brightness, contrast. Once you can basically do everything you need to adjust. So HDR 600 is the minimum you should get. And this is HDR 600. So that's great for HDR, great for enjoying a little bit of content. So you can control all your color settings as well, like adjust your color temperature your different color spaces, you can change from sRGB to Adobe RGB and all that stuff. You can change your USB 2.0 ports to become USB 3.0. So generally USB 2 is gonna give you better compatibility and you know less hassle and stuff, but USB 3 is going to really be better for data transfer. So if you have say an SD card reader plugged into this monitor or you have some sort of SSD or hard drive, you wanna set it to USB 3 so that the data transfer is fast. Okay, so enough about the settings, enough about all those different things. Let's talk about the actual experience using this monitor for a professional workload. So right now we're in Premiere Pro, a professional video editing software, and we're gonna do a little bit of video editing. Well, I'm not gonna edit, I'm just gonna show you like scrubbing through a timeline and just show you the experience of editing it, what, what it will roughly be like. So right now we have my last video that I made. This is the Basilisk X Hyperspeed review. And as you can see, I'm just scrubbing through the timeline like so, and you know, it looks glorious. So usually I edit on a 27 inch 1440p display. And I can say that when you have such a big display, 4K, 32 inches, what ends up happening is you have a lot more space to have a bigger window here. In fact, if I expanded this window to, let's say, quarter, if this, if this window was roughly the quarter of the screen, this would be a 1080p screen because 4K is pretty much 4 1080p display. The amount of resolution and amount of space you have on a professional big monitor like this 328p6 from Philips means that you're gonna have a lot more space, a lot more flexibility to fit stuff on the screen. You're gonna see more, which is gonna be more efficient and more convenient. You don't always have to be switching tabs, make sure that, oh, you get this, you got that, you got that. You know, I can just put the tab there and I can have multiple tabs at once, which is gonna be so much more convenient, so much more efficient, uh, so beneficial for productivity. So that's something to keep in mind. And now, if you are doing color grading, I never recommend you to color grade on Premiere Pro, but occasionally, if you just need to do a quick color grade, you can. If you're doing color grading on this monitor, you can do it very well as well because it's 10-bit, 
it, it's color calibrated from the factory. It's got a huge color space. It's, you know, pretty color accurate. So it's got a VA panel, but the thing about VA panels is they've gotten so good, they're pretty much competitive with IPS panels now because it's 10 bit, because it's HDR 600. It's super saturated. It's super, you know, it's super color detailed and everything looks really, 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 really good. So my recommendation with color grading for beginners is always don't focus and rely on your screen because you want to be relying on scopes and graphs and stuff. So very, very objective computer measurements to do color grading because you never know how accurate your color display is. Well, I tried color grading using the display only without using graphs and stuff on this monitor and the results turn out pretty nice. So when you have a better quality monitor like this, what ends up happening is you have more freedom to be less reliant on graphs and scopes and objective measurements to get the colors right. You have more accuracy so you can rely more on your eyes, you can rely more on what you see is what you get when it comes to your color grades and that's actually very important for colorists and graphic designers who need to get their color right every single time so that's why this monitor is really awesome for professionals especially those people who are working with color accurate stuff like i mean for 800 dollars 4k and 10 bit and hdr these three combination of specs combined with the usb port hub that's a very potent and very impressive combination of features that any professional or any business is going to appreciate, especially if they care about color accuracy in whatever they do. And this monitor is clearly targeted at them. And at the price of 800, that's just so aggressively priced that it's really, really impressive. So doing professional work on this is really good. Color grading, video editing, you know, the 4K, the big screen real estate, the lovely colors. Good color is also great for one. It's also great for gaming. Now, of course, when you look at the specs on this monitor, you're gonna ask, is it good for gaming as well? And with color specs like this, HDR 600, 10 bit, I mean, it's 4K, 32 inch, it's gonna be pretty decent for gaming. So right now we're running Cyberpunk 2077, max settings, and of course, the RTX 3080 mobile is struggling a little bit at 30 FPS, 20 something FPS, because we're running ray tracing maxed out. But the game looks really, really good. I mean, in games, especially with, uh, not really designed for high frame rates. If you're not playing competitive FPS, or you know mobile games esports titles and you're okay with low frame rates and you know you're just playing it for the story or the graphics or the world ambience this is a perfectly fine monitor to do that in fact i think it looks really really nice i mean if you look at the color and you look at the detail of the world like this is a beautiful image look at that I mean, this game, this game is a very pretty game and to play it on this monitor, you're going to have a really, really fun experience. The colors are so saturated, they pop and look, look, look at how lovely these neon lights and all the smoke looks on this monitor. It's, it's all this beautiful, beautiful HDR, well saturated, color accurate, 10 bit 4K goodness. Now, of course, it's not a gaming monitor, so it doesn't have G-Sync, it doesn't have FreeSync, it doesn't have high refresh rate. So if you are looking for something that's both gaming monitor and color accurate, A, be prepared to pay a lot more because to get the best of both worlds, you need to pay for those kind of features. And B, well, that's not, that's not, you're not the target audience for this monitor then. The target audience for this monitor is the professional. And I'm just trying to show the average professional that even if they are professional, who's to say they can't let loose and play a couple of awesome looking single player titles at some time. Like it looks really good on this monitor. Arguably the best experience I've had with Cyberpunk so far is on this monitor. 4K, saturated. HDR, I mean, look at the colors, look at that. Like, of course the frame rate is suffering. Of course it tears a little bit because it doesn't have G-Sync, it doesn't have free sync but so long as you can get reasonably consistent FPS and so long as you can, you know, crank the settings, there's nothing wrong with gaming on this monitor because you're just gonna have this beautiful experience because every single frame gonna look like a painting, which is frankly quite cool. Okay, so the gaming experience with this monitor is pretty good. I mean, the RTX 3080 mobile laptop we used to run the games were very noisy, but apart from that, it's a very fun gaming experience. And uh, one thing I didn't cover though in that gaming experience is that the speakers that are built into this monitor are pretty good as well. So, I mean, it's not something that uh, I would say you should completely rely on. But in a pinch, let's say you're waiting for your professional speakers to arrive, you can use them, the speakers in this monitor. Or if you're someone who rarely uses speakers, mostly uses headphones and you don't want to spend money on the speakers, you just want to have some backup speakers, this monitor actually has pretty nice speakers to use. In conclusion then, what is it about this monitor that's so special? Well, it's the fact that it's got so many different features. It's packed to the brim of intense and awesome specs. 4K, 10-bit, HDL600, the USB-C hub, great I.O., great monitor stand that's included with it. Like, all of these features are awesome. And the fact that it comes pre-color calibrated from the factory is awesome as well. Which means that you can buy this monitor and not spend a single cent to set it up. You don't need to spend money on calibration. You don't need to spend money on cables or a monitor arm. Which means that for 
$800, this monitor is a really, really good buy, especially for professionals who care about color accuracy. So colorists, video editors, graphic designers, color graders, these people are going to love this monitor. But if even if you're just someone who's working with emails and Excel spreadsheets all day, the fact that it is 10-bit HDR is not something that should dissuade you from buying this monitor. It should be something that you might want because if at the end of the day you want to watch a movie on this screen, there are, there are very few screens that are going to be as good of an experience to watch movies on than this HDR 600. Brilliance 328p6 right here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This video thing wouldn't be possible without you guys, so make sure to like, subscribe, and comment to help the channel keep growing if you found it interesting in any shape or form. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching anyway, though. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.